On the morning of April 15, 1912, Titanic Captain Edward John Smith gave the order to uncover the lifeboats and muster the passengers. This would be a day that some would not forget and many would not survive. The following are five real Titanic survivors and their fascinating stories. Lawrence Beasley, an English science teacher, journalist, and author, boarded the Titanic as a second-class passenger. He had been in his cabin reading when the collision with the iceberg occurred. Beasley stopped a steward to ask what had happened, but was advised that it was nothing. Luckily, he made his way up to A deck and was ordered to jump into lifeboat number three just before it launched. He wrote a successful book about his experience called The Loss of the SS Titanic that was published just nine weeks after the disaster. Frederick Fleet, an English crewman and lookout on the RMS Titanic, was one of the first to spot the iceberg that sunk the Titanic. Fleet believed the iceberg could have been spotted earlier had the only pair of binoculars on the Titanic been used instead of stored in an officer's locker. This may have given the Titanic more time to evade the iceberg and could have prevented the sinking altogether. Fleet was assigned to lifeboat number 6 to assist the passengers and was among the survivors rescued by the Carpathia. Violet Constance Jessup, an Argentinian stewardess aboard the Olympic, Titanic's sister ship, was persuaded by her friends to sign on as a stewardess for the Titanic's maiden voyage. She was half asleep in her bunk when the collision occurred and was immediately ordered up on deck. Jessup was ordered into lifeboat number 16 and given a baby to look after. After eight hours, the passengers aboard lifeboat number 16 were rescued by the Carpathia and the baby was reunited with its mother. Jessup later survived the sinking of the Britannic, another sister ship of the Titanic. Dorothy Gibson, an American silent film actress, model, and singer, was one of the more famous people aboard the Titanic. She was playing bridge with her friends in the lounge when the Titanic collided with the iceberg. Gibson and two of her friends escaped in lifeboat number seven, the first lifeboat launched. After arriving in New York on the rescue ship Carpathia, she was persuaded by her manager to appear in a film based on the sinking. She even appeared in the same clothing she had worn aboard the Titanic that night a white silk evening dress topped with a cardigan and polo coat. Elizabeth Schutz, an American governess to Scottish noblewoman Margaret Graham, boarded the Titanic as a first-class passenger. Schutz and Graham felt the collision from their cabin, but when they asked a passing crewman if anything was wrong, he assured them there was no danger. However, they were quickly ordered to board lifeboat number three just moments later. Schutz later described the chaotic scene on the lifeboat shortly before they were rescued by the Carpathia. Our men knew nothing about the position of the stars, hardly how to pull together. Two oars were soon overboard. The men's hands were too cold to hold on. Then across the water swept that awful wail, the cry of those drowning people. Sadly, only 706 passengers survived the disaster. 1,503 people died. If you didn't know these fascinating facts before, now you know. This is not Big Ben. Click on this video to learn more.